But, you know, it's not because we are better than those people. It's not because we are so we are we are we we have anything that is that supersede those people. It's just the mercy of God. That's why th this night we have every cause to appreciate God. It's unfortunate that sometimes why some people are complaining, they will be complaining. You are not looking at what God has done for you. You are not looking at what God is even doing right now. You are not looking at what God is planning to do for you. That's why we are going to look inward. And we are going to appreciate God this night. We are going to return the glory back to God. And we want to say, Father, thank you so much. Because you have been the one that has been watching us, who have been piloting the affairs of our lives. Shall we open our mouth and begin to appreciate God tonight? Let's give him all the praises. Let's give him all the adoration. Let's thank him because of the excellency of his power. Can we please open our mouth and begin to honor God tonight? Can we be, please begin to open our mouth and begin to reference him? Because he's a mighty God, he's a great God, he's the God of all grace, he's the God of all power, the all-sufficient God, the one that is constantly watching over our lives. He ensures that our security is number one in his life. He ensures our protection, our preservation. When we are sleeping, he keeps us, he preserves us, he watches over us. When we are going on the on a journey, he watches over us, he preserves our soul from all the dangers. Anywhere we find ourselves, he's always there to watch over us. We want to give him all the praises tonight. We want to say, Father, thank you once again, O oh God, because of all your numerous and uncountable blessings unto us. Shall we please open our mouth and begin to adore him? Our God is mighty. Our God is gracious. Our God is powerful. Our God is glorious. Our God is the is an awesome God. Is awesome. Is the unsufficient God. Open your mouth and begin to praise Him this night, Almighty God, everlasting Father, Lord. I bless you, God of heaven, this night. Almighty God, I adore you, Father, once again, O oh God. Thank you because of your numerous and uncountable blessings. Thank you because of the way you have been sustaining us in our journey of life, O oh God. Thank you because of your mighty hand upon our spirit and upon our soul. Thank you because of the efficacy of the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, dear Father, God will reference you. Almighty God, we appreciate you, God. Blessed Redeemer, God, we exhort you. God, we say thank you. Thank you once again because of everything you have done. Lord, even for us to be alive at this time is a living testimony. Oh, my God and my Father, we praise you. How many lives have been lost already? They started this year with us. Many of them have gone. Here we are, oh God. We come to say, Father, thank you once again, oh God. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for the abundance of your mercy, the abundance of your grace, the abundance of your strength, the abundance of your power, the abundance of your might all over us, oh God. Almighty God, everlasting Father God, Lord will say, God, you are mighty. You are glorious, you are excellent, oh God. Father, we praise you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Once again, we are going to adore him. Once again, we are going to praise God and say, Father, thank you once again for all our brethren on this online, uh, you know, prayer meeting. We are always by the grace of God. It's not by power. Uh, you know, look at the privilege that God has given to you and to me. Do you know that some people are in the prison out as I'm talking to you now? A man was locked up in the prison for almost about, uh, I think, uh, almost close to 10 years. He was inside the prison. They just released him recently. He was lamenting with tears on his eye, on his face. Why? Because... I, he, he was unjustly, he was unjustly, you know, being arrested and he was uh, locked up inside the prison and he has been in the uh, Kirikiri maximum prison for more than, I mean, for close to 10 years. Ah, look at your life. Look at what God has done for you. God did not allow any kind of misfortune.
to befall us. He did not allow calamity to befall us. He did not allow any strange things to, to overtake us on every side. Why well, don't you open your mouth once again and bless the name of the Lord? I mean, all our brethren online, let's give all the praises to God. God did not allow us to hear any negative news, any bad news, any audible news about any one of us. We want to praise God for all our pastors online, all our brothers and sisters by the special grace of God. The grace of God is increasing and multiplying upon their lives. Let's open our mouth and begin to worship God tonight. Let's open open our mouth and begin to appreciate God. Let's lift up our voices and say, God, thank you once again because of your good hand upon our lives. Oh, Lord, we praise you. Oh, Lord, we magnify you. Oh, Lord, we exalt you once again, oh, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you once again because of Calvary, the benefit of Calvary, what Calvary has given, has provided for us, oh, God. Oh, Lord, as a result of the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross of Calvary, we are being redeemed. We are being liberated. I mean, I'm at the time of our life have been transformed by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every other evil covenant that have been that have been made on our behalf, either by the fathers or by one at one time or the other, everything has been terminated because of the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. He shed his blood for us, he redeemed us by his blood, and of course, he procured our salvation, our deliverance, our healing, our liberation. Almighty God, everlasting Father, no wonder we can say. Thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory, victory over sin, victory over Satan, victory over demons, victory over principalities, victory over the powers, victory over the rulers of the darkness of this world, victory over spiritual wickedness in our places, victory over the witches and wizards, victory over the familiar spirit, victory over every adverse circumstance in our lives, in our family. Let's give all the praises to God and say, Father, Lord, once again, we appreciate you. God, we honor you and we magnify your name, oh God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We want to examine Amen. ourselves tonight. The Bible says, examine yourselves. As we are online by the grace of God, we want to look into our lives. We want to look into our spirits. We want to look into our hearts. We want to look into our lives. The Bible says, and God saw that the wickedness of man was great on the earth, and that every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil continually. How is the imagination of your heart? How is your thought, the thought of your heart, oh God, brethren? How is your life at this point in time? We want to present our life before God. We want to say God a little, because the Bible says a little leaven. Leaven at the old law. Leaven is symbolic of sin. Leaven of little lust. Leaven of anger. Leaven of bitterness. Leaven of unforgiving spirit. Leaven of unrighteousness. Leaven of all those kind of evil things. We want to pray and say, God of heaven, O Lord, we have come tonight, O God. To the foot of the cross, we come tonight, O God. Let the blood your son Jesus cleanse us, oh God. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray and say, God, let your mercy, oh God, prevail over judgment. Let your mercy prevail over judgment, oh God. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight and say, God, you said it in your word. He said, Whosoever shall come unto me, I will no wise cast out. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, let the power that is in the blood of Jesus Christ begin to avail for everyone online tonight. Everyone represented both brothers and sisters, oh God, cleanse us tonight, oh God, so that our prayer can be acceptable in your sight. Oh Lord, where there is unforgiving spirit, let there be cleansing, oh God. Point us, oh God, wash us, oh God, make us clean, make us white as snow. Because the Lord thy God walketh in the midst of your camp. Therefore, our camp, therefore, our gathering together, therefore, even though we are connected online, therefore, our gathering must be holy, that is see no unclean thing, that 
there is still no defiling thing. We want to pray and say, God, oh Lord, every defilement in my thoughts, in my heart, in our spirit, in our language, in our in our conduct, in our character. We want to ask God and say, God, cleanse us tonight. Oh Lord, cleanse us tonight and make us whiter as snow. By the power in the blood of Jesus, visit us tonight to God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. We have prayed. Amen. Amen. Over to Pastor Ali, please. Yes. Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you hear me, my brethren? I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for your response. I always enjoy when I hear response. If you are not uh, on a special duty, if you are not on the road, I want to hear your response so that I will be able to know that you are there and then you are not asleep and you are waking up for this online prayer meeting. Shall we have a word of prayer together? Our Father, we thank you for another opportunity for the manifestation of angelic ministration. Tonight, I pray that there will be an angelic ministration to your people tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Speak and open our eyes of understanding. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 I'm talking to you on the ministry of an angel. The ministry of an angel. Maybe you have had an encounter with an angel before. Maybe you have a ministration from an angel before. Praise God for you. And maybe you have not yet had such an encounter. But I want to show you from the scripture that angel pray, play a vital role in prayer. When we pray, we put angel to war. They play a vital role in our life. They are messenger that God used to bring information, and they also engage in warfare. That is why I want to uh, exhort us the more the ministry of an angel. An angel is an a divine messenger from God. An angel is a mighty and powerful heavenly being sent from God with a message or a mission to carry out here on earth. When God releases his angel to be fully involved in a situation or more situations of our life to prove his power mm -hmm. and over all the battles of our life by ensuring our victory and tracking angel is when God sent his angel to take over our situation angel changed things to walk in our favor my brothers my sisters in the lord hear me lord and hear me clearly <laughs> the, the prayer of a tracking angel is a powerful prayer that all christians should always engage in a situation of life they are made that life that they refuse to be wrong there are many demonic order that we refuse to fall. Some support enemy will refuse to leave. Some blessing and favor and victory may not manifest on hands. There is a release of a powerful angel of God. This clear show us the power and importance of prayer of God and of, of God. That's why this is a clear show of us that as Christians, we should always call on the divine intervention of God to release his angel in every area of our life to ensure our victory. And we must always believe that God will surely intervene in our situation. Do you know the duty of an angel? Number one, angels are sent to bring good tidings, good news. They are saved. So that God released angels to bring good news to his children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Angel, I say to fight our battle for all. Don't you remember an angel? Are you are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Don't you remember that one angel destroyed one hundred and eighty six army of the Assyrians? Angels are said to fight our spiritual battles. Number three, angels are said to protect us, and I will keep my angel charge over you when there is danger. God sent his angel to go before us. And I will keep my angel child over you. They are sent to protect all. Number four, angel are sent to comfort all. To comfort all. Number five, angels are sent to guide us. And they are sent to instruct us. Hey, they are sent to instruct believers. And I will guide thee with my eyes. And I will need thee as well. Surely, they are so. References of the Bible I want to show to you before we pray now. Good news. Bring you good tidings. That we have been told in the book of Luke chapter 2 from verse 10 to 11. NJ announced the battle of Jesus. They bring good tidings. Good tidings. Fighting our battle for us. You will remember in the book of Revelation chapter 12 verse 7 to 9. The reference over there with NJ Michael and his NJ fought against the dragon there was a war in heaven and they fought and fought and fought no no nothing happened and in jamaica and in jamaica fought against the dragon and they overcome it by the blood of the lamb we can overcome every dragon by the blood of the lamb protection psalm 91 verse 11 and 12 mention god give his angel charge over us to guide us, to protect us. You can see that in the Bible. What about comfort? And I said to comfort us. Don't you remember in Matthew chapter 4, verse 11? That when Jesus, after he was tempted in the wilderness, and he came and ministered to him, they comforted him. They comforted him. Number five, they are guidance angels. They are guide to direct us. Sometimes you are in a way you don't know where to go. An angel will just call, and the Bible says some are many, some some are. Don't be forgetful to entertain strangers. Once for some have entertained angel on our way. In the book of Psalm 32 verse 8, talk about God instructing and guiding us in the way we should go. Instructs all. They are, they are also here to instruct the people of God. An angel instructing him to go to a certain place to announce the enoch of Ethiopia. when you do you know that already when he was reading something and then they instructed philip as well that is why you are going to pray and call upon the lord tonight and then we fight your battle for you because our mm. god will take over psalm 33 verse 18 and 19 say behold the eyes of the lord are upon them that fear him and upon them that 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 hope in his mercy to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. The Lord will preserve you. The Lord will take care of you. You will not die. Amen. You will stop. The Lord will deliver you. The power of the Lord will manifest upon his, upon upon your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget Amen. Psalm 91 verse 1. He shall cover thee with his feather. My sister, don't be afraid. The Lord shall use angel to cover you with his feather. As you are walking, you are going. Sometimes, unfortunately, many of us don't sort of way that angel minister to us. We, some of us have an encounter with an angel. We are not a worship angel. We are not a pray to angel. No, not at all. But they are our minister. They are minister to us. They are, they, 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 they are our ministry. They, they minister to us. Because... Yes, they are ministering spirits. They come, they are our servants. We set them an errand, they go on our behalf. We set them an errand to, to any spiritual battle, any battle that, that, is, that is confronting us as the people of God. We invoke the aid of the Lord to take over. And you can be old, they will throw down all the enemy harassing your life in Jesus' name. Tonight, 
tonight will be your night of great manifestation of the power of God that will take you to the next level. And every battle that is harassing you, every battle that is keeping you down, every battle that is that is making you your life upside down, the Lord will send forth his angel. And maybe here you are, yeah, so I saw a prayer request over here. Uh, somebody says, brother, went out many from sins, whatever. He, he has not come back home. The angel of the Lord will search for that person. He will return. Amen. He will come back home safely in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to open your mouth and just bless the Lord. Thank God, thank God. Open your mouth and worship the name of the Lord before we go to prayer now. I appreciate God for all. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come before you. Thank God that I'm God that has been preserving your life. Bless the Lord. For all the best things you have done in your life. For making me to be a man of God. Give me the true very moment. Oh God, to the Lord. I want to know more. Father, you are so good.
Please, I want you to use this, this opportunity and make maximum use of it properly. Because tonight, I will not waste, I will not, I will not waste mm -hmm. much time tonight. Tonight is carry and go. You are going to pray tonight. I don't want you. Angel fight are a battle for us. They fought yeah. battle on our behalf. You may not know. I don't tell you that one angel that God said he destroyed 160. To defy them, um, it is this thousand of the army of the Assyrians. Ah, they become a dead call. You are going to pray tonight. Hey, hey, you are going to call upon the name of the Lord tonight because this prayer we are we, we are praying tonight. This prayer will take you to the next level, it will take you to the next level of victory, and it will bring you to where the Lord wants you to be. And every form of oppression in your life, every oppression in your life, oppressing your family, oppressing your wife, the Lord God Almighty will cross them away. You are going to pray once and again that Lord will send his angel to intervene in your life. Every situation that they have been confronting you as the Lord will send his angel to intervene in your life. Daniel was praying. The very first day Daniel was praying, the angel of the, the angel was I they, they always go with blessing. The angel of God was praying the blessing for the person of us. I was still coming to that area. But I'm going to pray. That is angel in every situation of your life. I by the blood of Jesus. We are not going to spend much time tonight, but seize this opportunity and make use of it. You are still going to pray that prayer again. That God will release his angel to intervene in your business, in your career, in your family, in your ministry, in your career, in every area of your life. Oh God, release your angel Release your agent to intervene in my career. Release your agent to intervene in my ministry. 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 Release your agent to intervene in my 
of the army of the Assyrians. At night like this, at night, when the day break and they all take cops, one night, they, 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 they are engaged in battles. They, always, they are always engaged in battles that you are going to pray to. Oh Lord, send your angel to intervene in the battle of my life and send the confusion to my enemy. Oh, let your angel send Listen to me once and again. Very, very soon. Oh, I'm still going to round up this section tonight. Very soon. But before I round up, here's some prayer requests we are going to pray. The Bible says, But the Lord your God and we hand them over to you. And he will throw them into a complete confusion until they are you are going to pray that, that the Lord will empower your angel to arise and to pull down <laughs> every demonic call that is standing against your breakthrough. And the Lord your God Almighty will empower your angel to arise and to pull down every demonic call that is standing against your breakthrough. Why can't you call Amen. upon the law? Father, 
Same for minister to God. Men and brethren, do you realize the very first day Daniel began to pray for bring the blessing down? But the prince of Persia withstood Daniel AJ. He withstood him for 21 days. He withstood him there in the air. And Daniel keep on praying. The prayer has been answered. But the prince of Persia, he withstood. He, he was to the ancient bringing the blessing of good news to Dan for 21 days. Or did God send another angel to go ahead? Uh, go look at his record. The angel we sent to Dan, he has not come back to his position. What happened? And the Lord said, Okay, you, you go ahead. Another angel come to empower the angel that is bringing in the prayer of Dan. So it's for the place of Pasha of the week. You are going to pray. Every place of Pasha for angelic blessing. Hey, hey. Every place of Pasha that is connected with your angelic blessing, angelic breakthrough. The prayer you are praying since last have been released. The prayer you are praying since last have been released. The answer for the prince of Pasha is there. Contend with that angel. You are going to pray. Oh God, arise from my prayer. And the prince of Pasha contend with the angel of my breakthrough. Oh God, you pray are you talking to the prayer Jesus. Amen. 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 
Amen. Amen. I told you tonight, we are not wasting time. I'm, I'm running up this prayer now. But before I run off, let me take one or two prayer points before we run off. Somebody said we should pray for a younger brother who are we about was already unknown. Is is want us to pray for his brother, which is uh is we about was was um is on college on unknown. Nobody know where the where his brother is. We are going to say the angel of God to search him out. Wherever that brother is let's pray that the angel of God, you know, testimony are bound every time. The people that they kidnap, they kidnap their, their children and they see a, a man. They say, Where are you? What are you doing here? And the boy is crying. Somebody brought me here. I don't know the way again. And the man said, If I will take for you, ask, will you know the will you know the road? The boy said yes. And the angel of God wore the boy hand, he brought him to his to their house. And he asked the boy, Where is your house? The boy that is my house over there. And the boy ran to the house. The father said, ah, he called the, he called the office. So what happened? He said, one man carried me, dropped me here. They went out to look for the man. They didn't see the man again. And in shady visitation. They shared the testimony in Bagada. In shared the visitation. You are going to pray. Wherever this person is, is we are about his authority or no, let the angel of God fish him out. Let the angel of God go out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, we pray. Amen. Finally, I have told you before tonight. Prayer, I'm not wasting much time tonight. I told you before we start. I told you. We're not wasting much time. Finally, we're going to pray for all those who have sickness. Somebody say he's going to the hospital tomorrow for diagnosis and all that. He said we should pray for him that uh, he, he will be positive. With that God, we heal him. The healing power will come with touching. Let's for this person that is going for hospital tomorrow for. Everything be neutralized and be We pray. Amen. Remember, as I ran off now, and I told you I'm not waste, I'm not going to waste much time tonight. Because tonight is what but then, before I run off, listen to me. I have told you the duty of an angel. And I have told you is biblical, is, is biblical. Through the scripture, they are in the Bible. So I want to have told you that an angel brings good news. You will believe angel announced the birth of Jesus to the shepherd. Bringing good tidings for them. I decree this week, angel will minister to you with good news in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> God will again, scripturally, that angel fighting our battle for us. They are engaged in warfare. I told you the book of Revelation chapter 12, verse 7 to 9. And Michael and his angel fought against the dragon. And they overcome the dragon. And I told you that one angel destroyed the army of the Assyrians. One, 186,000 fell before the collapse. The following morning, they saw dead caught. I pray for somebody on life. Every battle that you are engaging with some spiritual forces, I decree the angel of God will throw confusion in their camp in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget, angel protects. You know, I mentioned that to you that God gives his angel charge over us to guide mm. us, to protect us. I decree for somebody that interview you are going, the angel of God will go before you. 
I mm-hmm. do not mm-hmm. my mind, but the power of God, the Lord will cover you with his feather in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. When Jesus has fasted for 40 days in the wilderness, angel come to minister to him. They comforted him. They minister to him. They guide. The guy, the guy, the guy. Some thirty-two verses. I told you about God instructing and guiding us in the way we should go by His own eyes. The guy, here you are. You are praying for the will of God in marriage. Who will I marry? I will pray from tonight. Every bachelor, every space sister here on online prayer meeting, you will pray for marriage. I release the angel of God to guide you. To need you, mm-hmm. you to your your right mm-hmm. husband and your wife and your children, the angel of God will connect you to the bone of your bone from tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For those of you that you are looking for 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 uh, for for great uh, 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 breakthrough and blessing and connection, listen to me tonight because mm-hmm. you have a take of this online prayer meeting. As the minister of God tonight, I decree you will receive an angelic ministration this week that will change your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Lord protect you with you. You will not be the same again. May God bless you. Amen. I pray for you. May the Lord stop this continent of your life and your family. I speak to the Lord Jesus Christ of God. Over to Pastor Maxi. Thank you, but God bless you, sir. I I I want to let us know that today is special night. It has been a long time we have this number of attendants. Uh plus the one in YouTube plus this one. This is very, very uh encouraging. I want to welcome Dr. Oluko Rede back. He has been joining us for almost for some period now, but it has been a long time. He has been joining us like this. So my brother, you are welcome back in Jesus' name. Uh, mm-hmm. There's somebody I always call my in-law, right? Is uh, George? You are welcome back. You have been. You always join us on and off, but I'm oh. seeing seeing you. Seeing. <laughs> Goku, we continue to bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. It's for Benjamin, John Perry, mm-hmm. including the other pastor, and all every one of us, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, uh, God will continue to uphold us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Get to the our destination in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't forget what I said during the program. Make sure you share to one group. At least every one of us we are in more than one five group. I know that one very well in the WhatsApp. Let us continue to make sure we share during the program. That one does not mean we are not joining the prayer. God will continue to be with us. Uh, for the few minutes I uh, have, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, and Pastor Ali should be ready for this powerful prayer. I've been discussing with uh, about three or more than those people this week, and then there's something we are concerned about. It's a lot of promises, many people of us we are hearing that in the future you will be like this you will be like this uh this is uh this is this this is this for you and then even in the bible there are a lot of promises upon us i can never forget one of the uh message uh one of the messages of the gs he said there will be a time you will ask you will ask in the, in the water, in the water that go that and look go the Lord in the Bible and bring them for me, and then He will be reading. He will be reading them. So I and the, these people we have been talking together. We have been talking not, together. But not, why are those promises are not coming to pass in our life? Uh, there was a person. Uh, person that was in the that, uh, He has a very good house along the line. He said the house. He went oh. back to school and then he was just looking at himself. Just looking at himself. How did I find myself in this situation? <laughs> then we discussed about another person in that way. That okay. Uh my my brother, the name of the person I was discussing was Tade. Tade, why all the promises is not coming to pass? Then and I remember Moses in the book of Exodus, chapter 33, verse 12. The Moses said to the Lord, Look, you have been 
returning men take these people up to the promise. <laughs> The, you are going to take people to the promised land. Automatically, who, who is taking the people to the promised land? You will get to the promised land too. That's what this means. Because if you cannot go there, how do you want to take people there? But and when you look at the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, please, oh, uh, don't mind my song. Uh, he said, he said to me, Moses, <coughs> not even you will enter the promised land. If you get it, the promise of the Lord initially didn't uh, come didn't in the life of Moses. Then look at yourself. Look at a lot of things you have had in the retreat, in the crusade. Personally, many people, they don't, many people, they are not even prophets. They will call you. The way I see you, you are going to come to you. You are going to come to you. Many of us during the, our sojourn, when we are in the journey of becoming a believer, we have gone to many prophets and they, oh, this is what I say in you, with this is what I'm saying. You do not forget that that's why that there are a lot of fake prophets. Maybe it's about we still have some genuine prophets. Do not forget our GS is a prophet, and a lot of promises have come have, have come out of his mouth about our life. So the question is why. All these promises are not coming to pass not coming in our life. We are hearing them, but just like Moses. But by the power and the blood of Jesus, I want to think of you. Think of yourself very well. Think of what I said. Think of a lot of things you have think planned. Of think of a lot of plans you have planned. Think of a lot of things you know that, yes, I can do it. In the, show, in the is it in psychology or something like that? Uh, uh, or the uh, the the FIT the FIT uh, uh, I mean, uh, assigned to what I'm saying that immediately you are thinking of becoming something or immediately you are thinking of something that means you have ability and capability to become that thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the psychology say. That's now why all of us have been thinking I want to become this. I want to become this. this. And the promise of the Lord, and, and the promise of the Lord, and all you did, you will be did. Uh, it's not the promises, but why not? You will now call upon the name of the Lord. Whatsoever that is detaining, I mean, the, the, the delay in my destiny, that does not want me to get to my destination, that does not want me to get to my promised land, that just want me to hear the promise, but not fulfill them by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, either your angel or whosoever, or me, whosoever you are going to use, Father, whatsoever that is delaying, that is disturbing me to do not get to my destiny, Father, take them away from my life, from my, from my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Let your life be confined to yourself. You are walking like an elephant. You are eating like a rat. Since you were born, you have been hearing yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Nobody say yes sir to you. You have ability, you have ability to be able to be a director. You have ability, you have capacity to be able to be a leader. You have capacity, you have ability to be able to be the sponsor of many people. You have capacity, you have ability, you have intelligence to be able to establish something that something will be serving you, but that you are not going to be serving people. But now, see, you are still under the Am I under the capacity? Ask yourself. Call upon the name of the Lord. All this that is restraining me, all things that is limiting me, all things that do not let me want to get to my destination, all things that do not let me be the head, all things that do not be the all things that do not be the best, all things that do not be the people, all things that do be the people, all things that do not 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 be the people, 
by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Open my eyes to see whatever the family, 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 family effect, whatever be my own effect, like mountain, whatever be the things, 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 the Get into the promised land. Many people, people of the world, they stop it. world, how they see everything and able to say, so this is your destiny. You will not go beyond this. Out of lack of wanting, lack of prayer, or lack of vision, many people. Don't go get some of that. I want you to call up and for the Lord. When you pray like this, you are not praying for only yourself, you are praying for your generation. Then who are those your generation, your children? Because look at yourself now, your better far better than your children. They said that something that is behind you that you have not seen. Your life a lot better than life of your parents. There's something you need to look at. Why? My father better than this. I better go back. But if there's something that you do, that you want to do, that your generation, that something delay you, is stopping you from getting to your destination. Instead of all the father, all the mother is that my children better than me. Than me. So when you pray that kind of this prayer, you are not praying for yourself only. You remove the stopping block. You remove the barricade. You remove the uh, 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 the, 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 the limitation. You are praying for your children too. Because in that limitation is removed from you. Automatically is removed from your children. Your, your gener generation becoming better. So I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. What are those things? Just not let me get to the promised land. Either the people of the third world, either from my hand like, like Moses, either the, 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 the other people, like the, 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 the family of Joseph, that want to stop him from achieving his dream, if not because God loved him. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. All limitation in my life. Father, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Remove it, O Lord. And take me to my promised land in the name of Jesus Christ. Take my family into promised land in the name of Jesus Christ. Take my children into promised land in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, have mercy upon my family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor Ali, over to you, sir. Our Father, we thank you for the charge. You have charged us through our leader. We bless your name because your will is for us to run where and to finish where. The Bible says, I know the thought I have towards you. The thought of peace and not of evil to give to you an expected end. Better future, better life, prosperity, deliverance. We pray, my Father, that our expectation will not become short. Amen. Carry everyone to he or a promised land in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. People, promised land is good marriage. They have been praying for us and our wife, and, and the husband have not shown up. Some people, promised land is good career. He have not shown oh. up. Some people, land is good uh, profession. He has not shown up. So, who promised land is prosperity. They are still expecting. So, who promised land is breakthrough. And so, people promised land is collaboration. Our Lord, physical blessing, spiritual blessing. I am maxing that we bring happiness and joy upon the heart of everyone tonight. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
Tonight, I speak into somebody's life. Hey, every delay I'm in your situation that you manifest. There's a delay, there's a delay. That person expressing delay of your of breakthrough that is just like a failure at the edge of breakthrough. When the person wants to, to fulfill that promise, he withdraw, he withdraw, mm -hmm. he withdraw. And you are now actually discouraged. I pray strength and faith will rise in your heart. That spirit mm -hmm. of discouragement, mm -hmm. discouragement in your heart, I command that arrow to come out right now. And I pray from tonight. Every delay is clear out before you in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever may be your expectation, my brother over there. Hey, they this upon my heart. You have been praying for a good wife. Every time you pray, you pray, you are you have of age and you are ready already. You have a commodity, you have a work to do, but the wife is not showing up. Whatever is entering that's your bone of your bone will show up, or the flesh. Of your flesh will show up tonight. I release you in the name mm -hmm. of Jesus. Amen. I release you from your connection. Receive your wife. Your wife will look mm -hmm. your wife will look mm -hmm. will look mm -hmm. from today. Mm -hmm. You will give us invitation of wedding card in Jesus' name. My sister, don't lose up. My sister, don't lose up. Your husband will locate you. And Amen. that's what you want to your brother, your children, your husband, your children, and you understand. And you understand. 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 Receive your healing. Receive your healing. I command the healing power of God to touch you, release you from every joy, from every pain in your ankle. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Online right now, somebody online, you have a pain on your neck, on your neck, by the by, the, by your left side, on your neck right now. I can feel it right now. I place my hand on that neck side spiritually. Hey, thou shall lay my hand upon the sick in shall recover. As I lay my hand upon you spiritually, I pray for quick recovery. And all those pain on your on your neck, I command all those pain to depart away. And I pray for you. The power of God will strengthen your muscle, strengthen your ankle, strengthen your back, strengthen every part of your life. Receive energy. Receive energy. You are here. You are here. You are here. Amen. 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 Tonight, I am more than conquered. Amen. 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 Wake up tomorrow, you'll be stronger than your enemy. Amen. Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We shall meet on the start of the victory. Up of victory. Up of victory. Please let us continue. Please let us continue. Let us continue to share. God will be with us in Jesus' name. Let's Amen. Speak this together. Do not forget all our now. Praise the Lord. Before we share the grace, if you are not on our uh, WhatsApp group, please uh, say, Pastor Matthew, let me get in touch with those so that I can add them to our prayer WhatsApp group so they can be updated so they can uh, and then, please, I want to advise those people who always quickly drop whenever we have some little that journey us and put just have patience with with us. All the pastor, they always be uh, in control, and immediately we see it. Say we do not see it, we remove them, we block them, we do everything, and there's nothing they can do for you. They just want to send you out of our group. Please, do not immediately drop. God will continue to help. Is something and the joy will be our strength. Amen. Thank you, sir. Let us share the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of our Lord, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forever. Amen. Goodness, goodness, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. 
and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Get to your promise line. I will get to my promise line in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless us all. Thank you. God bless you.